A lot of people I meet uh, tend to mistake me for a rationalist. And think because I'm well learned in things like philosophy um, that I'm somehow, uh, yeah, that, that, I, that I'm a very rational, left brain kind of person. Uh, but the truth is that I'm actually quite intuitive in the way I make decisions. Um, I'm not the kind of person to like list pros and cons and then you know, decide which which side is bigger and then and then uh, you know make des make decisions that way. Now I tend to uh, I tend to go go with my gut. And I realize that there are uh, pitfalls to that sort of thinking, and I've I've experienced those pitfalls. Uh, the main one of which I find is that it's uh, it's easy to mistake the input of others, particularly any fears or hopes that they put into you, uh, as, as your own inner voice. And so I think, you know, I mean, good meditation practice helps to sort of sort out those voices and figure which ones are more authentic than others. Um, and, I, and I think that's, I think that was the pitfall of our last president, George W. Bush. He was known as a kind of super hip kind of guy, but I think the hip you were shooting from was the same hip that uh, that shot a guy in the face. <laughs> oh, that's a joke. It's okay if you don't get that one. Um, but uh, you know, um, it, I guess it, one that's one reason why I uh, don't tend to go for these kind of rational arguments for God, like. There's that whole Kalam argument from, you know, Kalam cosmological argument that was debated to death in the uh, theist atheist debates. I I don't go with that. I I think it's perfectly rational to be to be an atheist in um, without the sort of uh, intuitive leaps that in experiential aspects of my life. I would probably be an atheist too, but. Um, my main reason for believing in God, I think, is because I've had these times in my life where I followed that inner voice when it was speaking to me really loudly, and I, I was like, no, that's crazy, like, I can't do this, and I went with it, and things just manifested in this really quick and miraculous way that, um, it, it, it just... It spoke to me like 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 divine intervention. I don't believe in I don't necessarily believe in divine intervention in the traditional sense, but you get my point. I mean, it's, it's things that just seem to come together in this amazing way. And you know, I, I don't believe in the whole law of attraction stuff, like the secret. I, in fact, I think that's rather dangerous to uh, a healthy sense of spirituality. Um, because it implies that the uh, six million Jews who died in the Holocaust did so because of because they were a bunch of negative Nancys, you know. So, yeah. But but I but I do believe that all of us, or at least most, or at least many of us, have a certain path in life, a certain course that, a certain Tao, if you will, a kind of groove along the river that that it that they're best suited to follow and once they find that groove once they kind of once they've kind of hit that reptile if you will um things start coming together much more smoothly and i think that, that's what Taoists referred to as the wu way path of least resistance it's like once you find that little niche it just carries you and um, these manifest in a really miraculous way. So, um, and, and 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 so yeah, the um, the the results of, of those kind of decisions have really kind of um, you know astounded me in a way that it's hard for me to believe that it wasn't some that there wasn't some sort of divine uh, manifestation in that. So. I guess that's it for now. Peace.